Earlier, I unboxed the more premium of the two Google Nexus devices launched in the fall of 2015, the Nexus 6P by Huawei. It's a high-end phablet with top-tier specs. While I'm still working on evaluating Huawei's entry in the Nexus product line, I managed to pick up the Nexus 6P's smaller sibling, the LG Nexus 5X. In this video, I'm going to give an unboxing in my initial impressions of the Nexus 5X and an introduction to Google's wireless service, Project Phi. As soon as I opened the package that the phone arrived in, the first thing that I pulled out of the box was an envelope with the Project Phi SIM card inside. Underneath that envelope was a white box housing the phone. Similar to the packaging in the Nexus 6P, LG's budget Nexus device comes in a white box wrapped in a sleeve that displays Nexus branding. Beyond that, the unboxing experience is nearly identical to that of the Nexus 6P. For example, upon opening the box, there's a card showing where the buttons are located on the device as well as how to plug in the charger and eject the SIM tray. Below that we'll find the phone as well as a USB Type-C charging cable and a detachable wall adapter. Unlike the Nexus 6P, the Nexus 5X does not come with a USB Type-C to Type-A cable. Just like the envelope holding a SIM ejector tool that came with the Nexus 6P, Google has included information for a 90-day trial of Google Play Music if you're not already subscribed to the service. That same pamphlet includes the usual warranty and safety information. On the outside, the Nexus 5X is constructed with build materials similar to those of its direct predecessor, the LG Nexus 5, released in 2013. Like the original Nexus 5, the 5X is made of a matte plastic material. The phone obviously doesn't exude the same ultra-high-end feel of Huawei's Nexus 6P, but the 5X doesn't feel like a cheap, poorly made budget device either. On the front of the device, the 5X boasts a 5.2-inch 1080p screen with a pixel density of 423 ppi. LG has placed speaker grills on either side of the display. However, the top one solely functions as the phone's earpiece. Unlike the Huawei-built Nexus 6P, LG's Nexus 5X does not feature stereo speakers. To the left of the earpiece, the Nexus 5X has a 5-megapixel front-facing camera with an aperture of f2.0. At the top of the phone, you'll find a microphone for noise cancellation. On the left side of the device, there's a nano SIM tray. On the right side of the Nexus 5X, LG has placed the handset's power button above its volume rocker. Finally, on the bottom of LG's budget-minded Nexus handset, you'll find a headphone jack, a microphone, and a USB Type-C charging port that's capable of a form of fast charging, though it's not the official Qualcomm quick charging standard. Under the surface, the Nexus 5X is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 808 system on a chip accompanied by an Adreno 418 GPU and 2GB of RAM. As for internal storage, the unit shown in this video only comes with 16GB of built-in storage, while there's a 32GB model available as well. Like the Nexus 6 and the Nexus 6P, the Nexus 5X is capable of connecting to virtually any mobile operator via LTE, GSM, and CDMA networks. All three phones are optimized for Google's Project Phi wireless service that I'll be discussing in another video. On the back of the 5X, you'll notice the 12.3 megapixel rear camera housed in a round hump slightly more pronounced than the so-called visor that encompasses the rear camera on the Nexus 6P. Fortunately, this camera hump does not cause the phone to rock unnecessarily when using the phone on a flat surface. To the left of the rear camera, LG has added a dual LED flash and a sensor for laser autofocus. Below the camera setup, you'll find Google's Nexus imprint fingerprint scanner. At this point, you've probably seen an endless number of videos that cover the main features of Android 6.0 Marshmallow, but I still want to touch on my initial experiences with the software. Google Now on Tap proves to be quite useful whenever I want more information on a topic than I'm reading about on the 5X. While it's nice to have granular control over app permissions in the software, I haven't done much to take advantage of this new addition to Android as I don't have a wide range of apps installed on my new phone at the moment. As I've mentioned in my videos on the Huawei Nexus 6P, I'm really liking the new Doze functionality programmed into the operating system as it helps the Nexus 5X's battery to consume less power while the phone is idle. After doing some additional research and watching videos by other content creators, I've learned of some hidden features of Android 6.0. One hidden feature I want to mention is a system UI tuner menu in Android Marshmallow's settings screen. After pulling down the notification shade and holding a finger on the settings cog for several seconds, an option called System UI Tuner will be added to the settings menu. In this menu, Android gives you the opportunity to make small customizations to different elements of the user interface. Similar to what can be found in OnePlus's Android skin, Oxygen OS, the System UI Tuner allows the user to configure and rearrange the quick toggles that appear in the notification shade. 
In addition to customizing the quick toggles and the notification shade, there's another section in the system UI tuner that allows the user to determine what notification icons appear in the status bar. One aspect of this menu that I really appreciate is the fact that one of these screen UI customization enables a battery percentage in the status bar, something that Google should have made a part of stock Android long ago. Next, the system UI tuner includes a demo mode, but this feature is really only useful when putting the 6P on display in a retail setting. Lastly, in the sound and notification section of the settings menu, there's a pulse notification light toggle that allows the user to enable a hidden notification LED. As I mentioned earlier in the video, my Nexus 5X came with service on Google's Project Fi. Project Fi is a no-contract wireless service that piggybacks on T-Mobile US, Sprint, and Wi-Fi hotspots simultaneously instead of limiting the consumer to one wireless network. Similar to the wireless plans offered by America's four national wireless carriers, Project Fi offers you unlimited talk and text while you get to choose an allotment of data. What's nice is, if you don't use all your data, Google will refund you the cost of the unused data. One critical thing to mention about Project Fi is that the service can only be used on the Nexus 6P, the Nexus 5X, and Motorola's Google Nexus 6. This makes sense given the fact that these three phones have technology necessary to bounce back and forth between LTE, GSM, and CDMA networks. In the near future, I'll put together another video where I'll talk about Project Fi in more detail. As always, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.